beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Knowledge is like an atmosphere. It commands possibilities in your life. It's not about trying. It's either it is there or it is not. Hallelujah. Are you blessed already? So make sure that you are learning constructively. The goal is not just to carry out a service. You know that we have no business with religion here. The goal is to empower you. Praise the Lord. Come, promise. Look at this. Please bring your what you are holding. Come. Watch this, everyone. What is he holding? What is he holding? You are holding a book. You are aware you are holding a book. If I try to convince you that you are not holding anything, will you agree? Is it an issue of prayer? You are, this is called reality. You are holding on to something that has become a conviction. Please listen to me. This is not something you are trying to believe. This is not something that is subject to debate or the opinions of men. See, the degree to which your you become stable in the kingdom um, your stability is proportionate to the depth of your conviction whenever you are not convinced about a reality it's easy for you to drift either when it does not yet produce result or when there seem to be conflicting opinions the apostle said but I know whom I have believed I wasn't just told about him i know he says and i am persuaded unshakable immovable that revelation has become a conviction for me and i stand upon it this is what god is doing with us bringing us to a point where we are convicted that you know that you are holding something you are holding something that you can take to the world and no devil no culture no system no limitation no gate can stop you it's not just a prophecy it's a resultant effect of paying attention there are some things when you hold on to you have entered your sabbath it's not if it is when it will come is god speaking to us now thank you acts chapter 3 the bible talks to us about the activities of the early church please pay attention jesus had resurrected the bible tells us in acts chapter 1 how that he was with them for a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was helping them to be grounded in truth are we together 
and after the holy ghost had come in acts chapter 3 the bible says in the hour of prayer they were going to pray and then they saw a man he was begging for arms he had been there at gate beautiful and the bible says this time around when peter and john came peter looked at him and he made a very interesting statement in verse 6 chapter 3 of acts verse 6 and peter said silver and gold have i none he says but what such as i have the question is at what point did he know he had it because there was a time he did not have it is that true at what point what was the evidence that what happens to a man to know you've had something are you getting what i'm saying now he said such as i have i give i have something and i'm not only it's not just i am aware of it and it can be dispensed i have it i know that i have it i understand the dynamics of his operation and i can release it to you he said such as i have i give and he said in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk let's see what happened the next verse please watch what happened he says when he said that the man was still sitting he didn't stand up he was still sitting and the bible says his sitting was not going to sway peter for peter to say i'm not sure again peter said i know i have it whether you don't respond it doesn't change my persuasion such as i have you don't know the activities that sponsor my conviction your refusing to act is too small to shake me and he held his hands because he knew he had something and he was insisting i have something and when i speak to you there should be an effect and if there is no effect i insist he says such as i have many of us see that man seated would have quietly moved away for the shame that is lack of conviction you you think you have something now a man stands before you and challenges your conviction and at once you chicken out but peter said no way i know i have it you are just meeting me you don't know who else i have met you don't know the 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 revelations that support my audacity i know i have something and the man was just looking many people have told me to try standing up and peter said you don't know me and the Bible says he held his hands. He knew he had something. That revelation persuaded him enough. He stood before that challenge and would not be embarrassed because he knew it must work. Hmm. Is God speaking to us? He says, and he took him by the hand and what? And lifted him. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength to validate that he had something to give listen peter would have looked at him and said well john you too you saw i tried we did exactly what jesus said oh god please don't be embarrassed after all we didn't collect money and he would have gone back that would not change the fact that he had something but it was not released peter said such as i have i'm not only aware i understand that it is supposed to be dispensed and i refuse to allow what i am seeing to influence my convictions he says but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded not confused persuaded the problem with the church is lack of persuasion the grounds upon which our audacity is standing upon is fragile we don't take time to establish conviction upon kingdom realities we're in a hurry to get rema we're in a hurry to get revelation we're in a hurry to get knowledge let me tell you something the world is ruled by men of conviction dead or alive you don't respect a man because you believe in him you respect a man because of consistency of conviction when a man becomes unbending he commands your respect at once that's why we cannot pretend that Boko Haram is a force to reckon with. They will be defeated, but their convictions are strong. Strong unto death. Are you getting what I'm saying now? 
the only reason the only reason why faith is an issue in the church is because our convictions are small hallelujah and so when we sit down like this as the word of god comes it gives us understanding it not only tells you what you have it explains to you the dynamics of it so that you get to a realm of persuasion where nothing can shake you say amen, amen. listen pay attention to what i'm saying because life will challenge it at any level ask any leader life will challenge your convictions from head to toe and the gates will only open when you prove that you merit it opening not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards rewards for consistency rewards for persuasion hallelujah are we together when the holy spirit comes please listen when the Holy Spirit comes upon a believer at new birth, I want you to know that the coming of the Holy Spirit in every one believer that gives his life to Christ introduces the presence of God to that man's life. A presentation of the presence of the Father. The Bible tells us again and again. Is that true? So when the Holy Spirit comes, listen, comes to live in you, he represents the presence of God and with him Kataya, is a measure of God's ability at work in you everybody say God's ability say it one more time God's ability say God's energy say God's capacity when the Holy Spirit dwells in a man his presence comes with a measure of God's ability at work in that man now whether or not you know it whether or not you use it is a different thing but that is the truth because scripture cannot be broken are we together now so when the holy spirit comes he comes with a measure of god's ability this is very interesting because the kingdom was designed never to function absolutely by the strength of man listen the changes that humanity requires cannot be affected just by the, the strength of man it cannot just be affected by intellect it cannot just be affected by kindness and charity it takes more than that it takes an ability that is supernatural it takes the ability of god to bring transformation not just preaching do you know what it means to speak to a man and just by speaking make that man change his ideologies an ideology that he has hold or he's held true for decades and then in one meeting you speak and he's persuaded enough it's called utterance not oratory oratory is the ability to speak well you learn that in school utterance is the capacity to communicate spiritual realities on the strength of god's ability such that the listener is able to enter into your experience that is utterance it's not oratory what we have in church is oratory but we need utterance it's a gate that gives you access to the ability of the spirit to persuade men such that they subscribe to the value system of the kingdom are we together so the ability of the holy spirit that brings it that divine life many christians jump and about having the divine life but we do not see the evidence of that divine life that divine life that dwells within you and it comes with a measure of the ability of the spirit if you do not recognize that there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you you will rob yourself of the capacity to function like god God gave us his ability so that we can produce his result. Listen, listen. Only God's kind of result can bring change and impact in our world. Only God's kind of result can bring blessings. Only God's kind of result can bring lifting. Only God's kind of result can bring transformation. 
if you're with me say amen god's ability that's what we call power that's what we call the anointing the anointing is not oil the anointing is god's energy his very ability we define power in physics as what work done per unit time energy expanded that's exactly the definition of the ability of god his capacity when god wants to do anything he depends on his ability and so when he sends you as his ambassador he gives you his ability god's ability say it again god's ability one definition of frustration is to try to achieve god's kind of result with your ability you will see how crippled you look in life say after me i have the ability of god how many people have gone to sick people out of zeal and kindness you are sick sam in the name of jesus be healed by their ability they want to see god's result but they are conscious of their ability no it is not given to man please hear me it is not given to man to produce god's result with his ability how many pastors and churches are frustrated because they are trying to get growth they are trying to get this and, and all kinds of teachings it takes the ability of god shout it god's ability listen listen i'm telling you this don't just allow the scientific world fool you the realm of the spirit controls the physical realm it was james the apostle that told us for as the body without the spirit there must be a spirit component to everything for it to work i don't care what it is if there is no spirit component it is there there must be a spirit component to business there must be a spirit component to your academics there must be a spirit component to marriage i love you i love you is not enough there must be a spirit component there must be a spirit component to anything that we do the problem is many times we ignore the spiritual side because we think it is not necessary oh my goodness oh my goodness how helpless a man is brothers and sisters how helpless in the face of this cruel life there are gates on every mountain there are giants on every mountain it doesn't take stories to move them it takes the ability there are devils standing on the gates of your finances it takes the ability of god why do we need the ability of god is his power to effect changes listen change can never occur until the power of god is present in a place any kind of change the ability to effect change from healings to miracles to soul winning to transformation it is entirely dependent on the ability of god there are so many people who try to do evangelism sincerely from their heart but there is no ability how many times have we stood in the face of situations that honestly demand the touch of god but we know that we are short of god's ability god gave you his ability so that you can truly produce change the bible says in john chapter 15 it says hearing is my father glorified when you bear much fruit so then shall he be my disciples god wants us to bear fruit but it takes an ability an ability higher and greater than yourself are you getting what i'm saying now? the second reason why we need the ability of god is to be able to produce supernatural results please write it down supernatural results if your results are natural the world does not have space for you the 21st century does not have space for natural results the minimum standard in our world today is a supernatural it takes an ability of god for a mortal man to produce results out of proportion hmm. the bible says they were astonished 
when they saw Jesus Christ and they saw the kinds of results that he was producing let me tell you something don't ever allow anybody preach you into thinking results do not matter in the school of greatness only God sees the heart men can only see the outward appearance please are you hearing what I'm saying don't ever let anyone fool you it's God that can see the heart you can die with your good intentions if you want to influence men you must let your light shine not let your light glow it must shine for men to see not angels God wants them to see it it is in the seeing that they become persuaded therefore permit your light to so shine before men that they may see your good works and as a result glorify your father John 17 verse 1 Jesus was speaking he said now the hour has come he was speaking to the Lord he said glorify now thy son to the end that thy son will bring you glory so the only way God is glorified is when we are glorified our glorification is a means to an end not an end in itself it gives God the opportunity because no man can praise himself you need another to praise you it's against the law of greatness for you to praise yourself when you praise yourself it's called arrogance when another man praises you it's called honor hallelujah so we need the ability of God to produce changes there are people here who are sick it doesn't take stories we can shout and jump around and just make a lot of noise when they tell your dad in the office or your mom we are going to fire you brothers and sisters it takes the ability of the spirit to change it when the landlord tells you tomorrow if you cannot bring your money you are out it takes what the ability of god the problem is this we have ignored the ability of god in the church we believe in god but we have ignored his ability that anointing that agency of the spirit that empowers men to produce change and to produce result this ministry by the grace of God is a testimony of God's ability the ability of God walking through men and I want that to become your testimony from tonight that tonight you will give up on just trying to get things happen by your strength when you depend on God's ability you will see results that are out of proportion praise the Lord tonight is a very simple teaching until the ability that is within a believer is released he can never be a blessing to his generation I want you to know this until the ability that is resident within a believer is released not acquired not gotten your being anointed does not make any meaning to your generation until that anointing is released the release of that ability is what brings about blessings the bible says no man lights a lamp and puts it under a bush no man does that but you the purpose of lighting it is so that it can give illumination and direction so until the ability or the anointing is released the believer can never be a blessing you only become a blessing when you allow the measure of God's ability in you to find expression in your physical world the Bible says and the word became flesh and did what it now dwelt among men and they beheld the glory they could never behold the glory for as long as it was in the realm of the spirit but when it became flesh Shadrach, it's good to see you. I'm happy seeing my people. Praise the Lord. The word became flesh. The anointing that God has given you, when it translates into wisdom that men can relate with, when it translates into creativity that men can relate with, when it translates into dunamis power, the capacity to produce change here and now, then Christ is glorified. Otherwise, we'll keep talking a lot of stories. That which is resident within you must find expression for Christ to be glorified. 
are we together now now the problem with many of us seated here is not that we are not anointed it's not that the hand of god is not upon our lives but that inability to understand the dynamics of expressing the ability of god is what has crippled us and so we stand before mountains we can walk over and yet we cry before them the reason is because we have not come to a point where we realize that the ability of God is at work in us. Moses, listen, Moses stood before the Red Sea. God did not add anything to him. Right there, there was the ability to cross over. But he was afraid. When he went back, God just said, why are you coming to me? I gave you a rod. The word is in your mouth. Tell the people to move forward. He went back and did what he would have done in the first place. Do you know that many times when you go to God, most of the things you get from him is comfort because actually you have the ability to do what you do but just because our psychology is built around just hearing something from god and so god said it is well now go and then you get up and go you would have done that right away are you getting what i'm saying now you're going and that reception of comfort was just to encourage you but all the while the ability was within you when he appeared to Gideon in the book of Judges chapter 6 when he looked at him what did he call him oh thou mighty man of failure but Gideon was hiding there was no special impartation service he just said Gideon what is going on ah, Gideon said God you too you know what is going is happening and he began to tell him how that he was going to go and defeat the Midianites there is an ability within you I'll never forget the first time God told me this thing. Listen, it's not enough to know God is mighty. This was a song that gave me that revelation. You know this song, Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. Years ago, I was singing this song. I worship you. This was the part that changed me. You reign, you reign. You reign, you reign. That's you talking to the Lord. And I heard it very clearly like a man singing back to me. This was what I heard. You reign, cause I reign. You reign, cause I reign. You reign. This is what God is telling me back. He's responding to my worship and saying, Son, it's not enough to know I reign. There's no confusion about that. The trouble is here on earth so reign because i reign now that you are aware i've told you you are like me i expect a legislation that is consistent with what is happening in heaven that way the kingdom comes it's not enough to say lord i know you are reigning what is happening to us here we are dying keep reigning let's keep dying no no it says thy kingdom come thy will be done where in the earth not in heaven there is no confusion about order in heaven the confusion is here so he says rain and it gave me an understanding not just this thing people jump around i'm a king i'm a king and go and die like a fool you jump based on knowledge and revelation see you can have something and you can take it anywhere believe me i know what i'm saying a man can have something and you can hold on to it and run with it That's what God is speaking to us. He reigns, so you reign. He reigns, so you reign. So he expects you to legislate. Ah. Listen, listen. A man called St. Patrick. Have you heard about St. Patrick? A man called St. Patrick. The son of the king had died for six months. How many months? six months they had buried him and he was he was bringing a lot of catastrophe and that man called saint patrick walked straight to the grave and signed his name on it saint patrick and they opened it and dug out a human being alive it's in history men who knew they had something not independent of god listen with god all things are possible i've demonstrated it for you here come promise can i use you again with promise all things are possible without him some things are no longer possible but with him the word with god there means in partnership in partnership 
that's why we call it koinonia in partnership there is an ability you and god constitute an unbeatable team have you watched wrestling how they can beat somebody as if they are passing him through a meat machine and then on the other side his colleague is there bouncing and saying touch me show that you 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 are weak but we are a tag team is that true if you win we share the money together if you lose we lose together it's a partnership and so the holy ghost is standing and telling you look look you have been going around this mountain why don't you come into partnership with me there is an ability within you listen listen there is an ability it's called energes the greek word is energes it says now unto him philippians 3 uh, uh, 20 unto him who is able he has an ability to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we ask or think not according to his might according to the power that works not in heaven in you in you the possibilities in your life are dependent on activating the anointing and the ability of the spirit within you and so like the wrestling someone lifts his hands and have you seen the way people touch the other i mean they almost have no strength and they touch somebody else and he jumps in and plays nonsense with the one who has been beating his colleague and wins and then he holds the guy who is a team together and they lift the belt together he doesn't leave the belt and say you when you are tired stand up and walk home he lifts him and says we won listen i'm bringing you into a revelation that your victory starts from the standpoint a consciousness that with you and the holy ghost never do anything outside of the holy ghost you will fail it's not a prophecy it was designed to happen that way master we have toiled all night but in partnership with your word let's go back and watch a miracle are you hearing what i'm saying now prophet elijah outside of the holy spirit he could not say anything he said look guys you want prophecy from me i can't move my human ability cannot do anything but play me a mistrial and the moment they began to play when the holy ghost came upon him he said now i have something to say fill these ditches with water you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water listen that is not yet possible in your life does not mean it is not possible it's amazing how a challenge can be killing you and somebody will come and pass it as if it does not exist there is an ability that sponsors that audacity and i want you to know that if you are in christ that ability is within you there is an ability i walk conscious of this every time i go to minister i walk conscious of this and the lord walking with them and the holy spirit walking not just in joshua selman but with joshua selman there is a partnership it's a koinonia we are inseparable it's like the assault covenant where i am foolish i trust his wisdom where i am confused there is strength when i stand before a sick body i know i am very aware i'm intelligent enough to know that you cannot squeeze out cancer from somebody and it disappears at once i'm smart enough to know that that cancer is matter it has weight it can occupy space but then when his ability comes hmm. when his ability comes that's when the difference see listen don't trivialize what i'm sharing with you this is your recipe this is your key to unstoppable unstoppable exploits in the kingdom the ability of the spirit thank you let's take a few things i want us to pray let's take down a few things you must allow the measure of god's anointing within you to find expression and produce testimonies in the lives of people just two or three things i'll say again and then we'll pray God's ability in a man can grow and it can increase. The ability of God that is resident within a man can grow 
every living thing grows God's ability is alive and so it can grow that you have received a measure of that ability listen listen the ability of the spirit in a man is like currency let me explain to you something please look up please look up who has money somebody give me money 1500 thank you watch this if this is 200 naira how many things can 200 naira buy 200 naira can buy a bottle of minerals is that true can it buy wine but is it money at least he can buy some things are you getting what i'm saying now let me explain to you something about god's ability god's ability in you can only solve problems that are within the range of the dimension of that ability anything higher than that measure watch this that measure cannot be solved although you have the ability listen 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 i want you to get this the ability of the spirit the anointing of the spirit at work in people is in levels and there are possibilities that are activated within that level and that measure are you getting what i'm saying when the measure of god's ability is at work in you every problem every giant every mountain that is within that range of power will be solved but everything higher than it will remain an obstacle get this revelation and you will see the reason why although you are anointed some things have not changed praise the lord are you getting what i'm saying now thank you just like this currency watch this this is 200 naira it can buy wine mama put you can eat something with this now yam and, and akarankose watch this i can eat akarankose at mama put with this comfortably with dignity can this take you to a five-star hotel the restaurant but is this money so what do you need to do if you want to go to a five-star hotel increase the same thing not a different thing increase a measure of the very same thing are you getting what i'm saying listen that you have a measure does not mean the challenges in life respond to measures of the anointing measures of graces don't let any man fool you that the moment you have an ability it can solve every problem it's not true those who talk those things have not worked in the anointing believe me i know what i'm saying this is what i work in every day it's like a range when you upgrade on the level of the anointing that's why the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet but i got to a level where that would not be enough again then he had to measure a thousand cubits and the river increased and it was to my knees are we together now and then he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins then he measured a thousand cubits and it was an overflowing river and he said everywhere that river went whatever was dead came alive there are different levels of the anointing the ability of the spirit so a mountain can jump and leave and you go to another mountain and you can be shouting everything you know and the mountain steers you there are sick bodies that we may struggle around with in many crusades in nigeria and those sick bodies can be there let benny Hinn step in just two songs of worship i guarantee you not he has not even if he's talking about relationship it doesn't matter he can even teach on how to be a nice housewife and while he is teaching see the anointing does not care what is happening it whenever he sees a need and a demand for it it flows there immediately are you getting what i'm saying now so god's ability in you responding to a situation you can have a challenging issue that looks like a mountain and someone comes with the ability of god and brings a dimension of wisdom you never thought of and dissolves that thing in one minute and it's over case closed the ability of the spirit that was what happened to daniel they were about to slaughter them and kill them and he said ah, ah why is the king hasty in this all these people have tried their ability he said please just give us time and the bible says in the night the secret was revealed to daniel and he got up in the morning and answered the king same thing happened to joseph 
see how men took their generations by the ability of the spirit joseph did not become a prime minister because of interpretation of dreams joseph became a prime minister because he offered a very serious supernatural solution to the problem if he had interpreted dreams they would have said okay we have had you please um water go and lock him up and he would have just gone back highest they would have given him a day off and he's back to the prison but he was smart enough in addition to the dream he said i know this is the answer this is what we should do and when he said that look at him i love joseph he said oh king find a man he knew there was no man find a man check around don't trivialize my grace find a man if you can find another man with it no problem and the king said is he not here we kept quarreling asking people to come and interpret the dreams where can we find such a man that's why we worship the lord truly because there is nobody like him are you getting what i'm saying that's the reason why we worship him we love him searched all over couldn't find nobody i looked high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody prayed nobody prayed no nobody prayed and there is something the spirit of god will do to you that this song will become for you no, not just for god i want you to always be conscious of god can give you a territory my brothers and my sisters i want you to listen to me god can put something upon your life that will make let me not go ahead of myself That you come to a point where there is something in you without any show of pride you know it's not cheap and you know it's not what you find by the roadside listen when you explore the ability of god in you from border to border you will enter your sabbath experientially i guarantee you hmm. the bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of god hebrews chapter 4 right and he says let us therefore labor the word labor there is content even as unto death to enter that rest for he that has entered that rest has ceased from his works there are two ways the ability of god in you can grow number one is by revelation 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 grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge grace and peace be multiplied through knowledge through knowledge the word knowledge there's the word translated epignosis a comprehension of truth that makes the person who is knowing it and what is known become one not just awareness it's actually the word that is interpreted intercourse so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge hallelujah revelation when light comes to you then you will arise the bible says they that sat in darkness they have seen a great light great light arise and shine isaiah 60 it says for your light is come not your light is around the light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you he says it's one revelation god gave me watch this please if you are if you're a minister of the gospel here let me share with you a secret please look up money does not make a great ministry are you hearing what i'm saying you don't let any man fool you money does not make a great ministry it is impact that makes a great ministry and supplies finances financing ministry is a product of impact are you getting what i'm saying now impact and this is how it happens when your light starts shining gentiles will come unbelievers drug addicts all kinds of people will come kings will never come to your light 
when you become consistent and you keep growing it will start attracting brightness and excellence is a language there are those who know how to speak it the moment you start speaking their language they will come it says gentiles shall come to your light there is a level of ministry where all you see are gentiles people who are coming to be saved those coming to be sick somebody dragging his trolley of problems and coming to dump it and then you have to work on it but the time will come as your light begins to become bright like the day kings will start coming kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness the brightness of your rising and when they come like queen sheba they will not come empty-handed they will come with their bounties they will come with their blessings the wise men from the east when they saw jesus christ they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man they came to honor him every time there is brightness it begins to draw certain kinds of people so there are many men of god who are trying to look for money they are trying to look for money because they think money makes an impactful ministry what an error it doesn't work that way money is only a reward money is a receipt for doing something right we've learned it here when you get money as a man of god is a receipt just like you buy something the receipt means you have paid for it not you will pay for it the receipt is an evidence that something has been done not is being done not will be done the problem is we trivialize the ability of the spirit in us how many of us have looked like Gideon and felt that there is nothing within us oh there is that great man of God there there is that great woman of God there and we forget Mary was there standing and an angel appears to her and says blessed are you women among this and that and that and then he told her that she was going to carry a child and she said how shall these things be in other words naturally this should not happen seeing that i know not a man and the angel said something which is key for us this night it says the power of the highest that's how it happens the power of the highest shall overshadow you how can i be the last born in my family and yet i'm the one god will use to wipe the tears of people it says the power of the highest there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon you The second key to growing in the anointing and in God's ability is impartation. 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 Impartation is a transference of spiritual virtues. Transference of spirits. Transference of possibilities. A man who is a possessor of a dimension of possibility can share it. Like you use a candle to light another. It is a possibility in the spirit. That's the character of the dimension of God's ability called dunamis. It's an ability that is capable of being reproduced. Listen. I've said it again and again. A true leader does not maintain followers. A true leader reproduces himself and turns followers into leaders. If Joshua Selman remains a superstar and an anointed man, everybody keeps clapping. I have failed from the world's perspective and from the perspective of mediocres. We keep clapping. But let me tell you something. God's dimension of measure or his index of measuring success is not just by the crowd we have inside and outside. It is the individual's becoming a replica of his grace and anointing and his ability god measures success one by one he doesn't measure success by a crowd thank god for all of that it's an evidence of the hand of god but if we are to sample 10 people at random and engage you with spiritual challenges and see how you are able to navigate through the dynamics of the operation of the spirit it is a true measure of the success of this ministry the ability to be empowered and carry that conviction and go and begin to produce results around your sphere of influence and i insist that it must happen to you in the name of jesus christ 
So impartation and revelation. Write this down very quickly. The channels for releasing the ability of God. The ability of God must be released. Please burn this into your mind. I'm being very simple tonight because I want us to have this basic understanding before we pray. The anointing, the ability of the spirit must be released for people to be blessed by it. It must be released. It's not just the obtaining of the ability of God, but the dispensing, the release of it. That's what brings blessings to people. God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me. God's ability, God's ability is working in me, it's working in me. It's God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me. Sing it with me. God's ability, God's ability is working in me. Working in me, and so when a mountain stands before you and you carry this ability, you will move with audacity. Humanly speaking, you should chicken out. Come on, but I love David. David stands with a sling, conscious of an ability that is bigger than him. And Goliath said, Am I a dog? I know I'll kill you, but at least respect me. Come with knife, as if you are fighting a man. And David said, I will not, I will disgrace you. Let me even tell you how I will kill you. This is what will happen. This sling will hit you and I will remove your head. It's God's ability. When you see men do supernatural things, brothers and sisters, I want you to know it's God's ability. What you see happening tonight is God's ability. The energy, the very strength of God manifested as wisdom manifested as power manifested as faith manifested the, the ability of God is what we call grace whether grace to become or grace to do is all called grace and it's God's ability that's what makes men champions that's what makes men wonderful people is the ability of God the ability of God is like a programming it's like a software when it enters you you are infected there's nothing you can do about it the moment you carry it your environment begins to respond that's the treasure that we have in earthen vessels it's not about the vessel but the treasure and God designed it the only way you benefit from the treasure is to carry the vessel along that's the reason why when a man is anointed you don't bring out the anointing and keep him you carry the man too as you honor the anointing you honor him when you bless the anointing anointing cannot eat is the vessel that eats it as his benefit for paying attention it's working in me look at the bible full of people who took advantage of this divine ability If you get this one thing I'm teaching you, you will change your life in a remarkable way. Hallelujah. Play this mic. Aaron sent me a text before I came here, Pastor. And um, he sent me a text and said, Man of God, I want you to explain to me what exactly happened in Port Harcourt. And then I looked and he said I was going to talk with him. I shared my Port Harcourt story. I shared it here, right? Pastor, he came from Port Harcourt. It's a land of greatness and a land of plenty. Listen, I was going to Port Harcourt and all I had, watch this. Although God has corrected me recently because I've been running my mouth saying things. I've grown now. God has corrected me recently. In one of my retreats, I've been corrected. So I will I update my curriculum. Because I keep saying all I had was my bag. 
that bag was a seed i know the kind of faith that brought that bag that bag was a seed i remember dragging that bag and the ministry was about this size then everybody and they were all escorting me as if they were going for a funeral and that was how we went to the park that park in um that park on your way to kaduna just this one yes that kwangila park and they dropped me there and i was laughing they were pity because they knew aside from my bus fare all i had left home and abroad in terms of monetary value was 800 naira and i was going to a land i had never gone to but i did not like the woman in second kings chapter 4 i forgot that i had an ability i kept looking at my rickety bag and all of this listen i dropped at number 23 query street around to two in the afternoon when i dropped there i knew i was stupid for sure because no right thinking human being would do what i had done and i stopped there 800 naira and i knew it would be foolish for me to try to look for a hotel to stay so the closest thing was at least to finish up the 800 naira and eat something with it so i went to one my mother was sharing something and watch this one thing i knew was that i was going to reign in that land i didn't know how to describe it but i knew there was an ability sometimes you need to come to the end of your road to now find out what you have been calling spare part whereas that is all you need second kings chapter 4 the woman lost everything the husband used the children as collateral when everything had gone the prophet said what do you have in your house he said nothing except and he said you call it except the vessel is only the oil is small because of the vessel that took it not because it is small once you expand capacity the oil will increase with it he said the oil is much it's only because the oil was housed in a small vessel borrow vessel enlarge your capacity and when that woman did that she became rich with it so i went there i'll never forget when i was eating the holy spirit just sent a signal to my spirit and i found out one of my friends that used to live there and i called him and i told him i'm here this and that and that can i come and stay for a while and then i came i went to the house and i stayed there listen my money had finished let me tell you what happened i was broke there was i mean things were bad then his sister was sick when his sister was sick i wasn't happy that she was sick don't misunderstand me but at least i was comforted that something <laughs> listen undertakers are not happy that people die but at least it is the make <laughs> are you getting what i'm saying now and so when she said she was sick i prayed for her when she was healed she came with a seed of 1000 naira listen that 1000 naira was what i used to buy my suit to do my first ministration the suit was not what you sell around the suit was this kind you see this kind that they move around with it you just call the man listen let me tell you a secret it's better than many things they hang around nobody will know it's only you that will know ah. oh yes Are we together now i remember my friend in abuja calling one pastor in portacourt and say a mighty man of god is in town and he said all kinds of things about me and the man said and then it happened to be that the man was from my state watch this no 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 play that thing i'm going to sing this song a lot this song we started that's our special number for this night that god's ability song listen god is my witness when i took a bike to go and see the pastor he hosted us and another person we ate in his house and then he went to go and introduce me to the church as soon as i stepped into the building my eyes were open and i gave the pastor three prophecies three prophecies in the church are you with me three days after the prophecy the first one happened 0.5 million came into the church the overseer said call that man he's coming to preach on sunday there is an ability oh, it can open doors when all else fail yes many things in life can fail 
Don't trust them. The real capital in your life is the anointing. That one is fail proof. Certificate can fail. Internet can fail. Brother, when all else fails, reach out deep down. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Listen. I went to the church. I bought the suit with the money. I can't remember how much. Dress looks smart. You will never know. Because I, I refused to. I knew that my present was a thing I just had to manage with. In my mind, I was light years ahead of my present. So I wasn't embarrassed by it. Because I knew my physical reality will necessarily, necessarily become my mindset and my perspective. When I went there on that Sunday morning, it was a Sunday morning. I was on my way to come and they sent me the message to preach. They said I should preach about vow. I said I fasted for three days for this opportunity. And you are now sending me the message. God had already given me a word. Listen, the man with the church was a prophet. He doesn't come out until after the service. When you finish preaching, he will now come out and do his thing. When I stepped in and I looked at the people, I had never seen a congregation of people who were that demonized. And... Um, there was, you know, we are used to, we write our songs in Zaria, right? So it's very difficult to sing these songs outside because we write our songs. We receive them, we compose them. And I didn't know the kind of song to raise because uh, I wasn't used to all those songs. Our songs, you can be humming for 30 minutes. You don't do that there. There was one song that I remember. Now is the time for the new anointing. Gird up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. That was a song I raised. My goodness, that meeting, that meeting was something else. It was, it, was, it was an amazing meeting. You can imagine the things that God did. After that meeting, I had honorarium. I ate in the house of the pastor. They took me to another place. You know how they are. They are not like the not here that ignore your grace till you die. <laughs> right there, once they see grace, they celebrate it immediately. It's not in the notes that they will just look and say, can you help me? No. They know how to... Am I lying, pastor? Come on now. They celebrate grace very generously. And so we went there. And from that meeting, they said two weeks after the church was going to have a convention and I was going to be their major speaker. Listen from that time it was one meeting after one meeting after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter and within six months my life had changed changed in a way I didn't even know where I was coming from again it had so changed the road had deleted behind me never to return there again that's why I never forget his ability when all else fail today I've stood before kings I've stood before politicians none of my certificates have brought me before these people but an ability of the spirit are you hearing what I'm saying so don't ignore it especially for some of you who are in school read your book but don't fool yourself the world we live in needs an ability of the spirit needs an ability of the spirit Let's finish up. Hmm. The primary channel for releasing God's ability is your words. 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 Where the word of a king is, there is power. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me. An impartation, a dispensing of that anointing. He said, and it set me upon my feet. Listen, there are people sitting now hearing me. You will stand up from this meeting. And it's like something will suddenly rise within you. And you will say, I know I may not be any other thing, but I'm anointed. 
I may not be any other thing. Kabalakata. I was teaching the school of ministry students. And I taught them no matter what society says you are not. They may be right. But they are wrong when they say you are not anointed. Hmm. They may be right. They may say you are not fine. It may be true. They may say you are from a background where the map of your village was not added when they were you don't even use gps to find it they are right but if they ignore the anointing they are wrong the anointing will make nations follow you on their knees and it will be a privilege for them to receive of your grace you will be standing surprised while they are saying thank you god's ability is released through words number three your hands listen please look up i know that many of us have ignored our hands i want everybody to look at your hands if you can these hands it's working in you god's ability god's ability is working in you is working in you listen these hands you see brothers and sisters a hand is a mystery in the realm of the spirit a hand is not what holds people that's why the bible talks about the right hand of god it talks about the hand of god the hands are also doors in the spirit they are channels for releasing the anointing the work of a man is done through his hands when you realize that there is an ability on your hands it will bring upon your life creativity it will bring upon your life innovations you will do things through your hands you will never believe possible these hands these hands can open the gates of nations to you these hands can bring kingdoms to their needs these hands can swing the two lead gates of your destiny open God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me. Brothers and sisters, you are getting blessed right now because I am speaking. You are not hearing English. Some of you, you don't even know what is happening to you as you are listening to me. You don't know whether you should sit down, whether you should stand up because there is an ability. My mouth is a window. It's a window revealing the realm of the spirit. It's a window communicating the secret place. Something is happening to your spirit as you are receiving. This is not a lecture. This is not a lecture. It's an ability. The power of the Holy Ghost. It's working in you. <laughs> it's working in you. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in you. It's working in you. And so as you speak, the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the portals in the spirit. And you begin to speak as you communicate those realities you are changing people they don't even know what is happening to them they just know that there is an activity it's not english it's not oratory it's called utterance 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 is by the ability of the spirit it's not a lecture you are changing men you are using words to bring them into an experience they cannot explain the ability of god walking in a man and so the spirit enters you the words come with fire the words come with illumination they do something to your spirit man it's like light some of you sometimes you don't even know what you are receiving you can't tell what is happening to you it's like hammer it's like fire you can't tell it's an ability it comes help that many please it comes from heaven an ability of the spirit God's ability. Be sensitive. I sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit already moving. We're going to pray. It's working in me. That's what I want you to become. So anointed. So full of his ability. 
The Bible says even God who quickened the dead and uses his mouth to call things. He uses his mouth to make things happen that would not have happened. The prophet said by this time he was not revealing, he was creating. It wouldn't have happened. His words created it. He's working in me. Listen. Many of us have been speaking. It's time for us to be communicators of light and power. It's time for us to be communicators of divine reality. I see the angels of the Lord pouring what looks like oil on people. This is what I see. It's like an anointing coming on people. Strong anointing of the Holy Ghost. God's ability. It's an ability. It's an ability of the Holy Ghost. That the opening of your mouth is a gate in the spirit. Working in me. Working in me. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Shake a tabala baba baba. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Sing it with me, everybody. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Shaba baba la kata baba la baba. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. Listen. Listen. The third way the ability of God is dispensed is through the instrument of your atmosphere. Hmm. Listen, when you carry the ability of God, that ability creates like a spiritual electromagnetic field around you. Anybody that comes within that atmosphere, possibilities just like many of you are under this atmosphere right now and then sicknesses will leave just by themselves without any prayer there is an ability of the spirit when Saul came into an atmosphere where there was a principality called Samuel the atmosphere affected him and the spirit of prophecy fell upon him when the ability of God is at work in you, your atmosphere has prophetic implications. Your atmosphere has prophetic implications. It's working in me. Yeah. Hallelujah. God's ability is released by faith you release the ability of God by faith let me explain to you what I mean the ability of the spirit listen is released on the strength of conviction your persuasion about who God is and what he has put in you sponsors your audacity to take action Action based on that consciousness is called faith. We've taught a lot of dogma about faith. Faith is nothing based on just human asset. Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your persuasion of who God is. And then the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming the word. Listen, the anointing of the Spirit is the principal capital in your life please hear me a 
action that is based on your conviction as action that is based on expectation by the ability of the spirit so your hands you expect that people will receive impartations this is how it works brothers and sisters there is an ability in you there is an ability in you you must know this there is an ability in you it's, it's not it's not about some gimmicks please this is not even about falling down it's called the mystery of godliness where god can dwell in a man so your body is like a puppet they are seeing you but there is another agency at work it's called the ability of god that's what will make you a wonder men will keep looking when they think they have exhausted you then you come from another dimension because you are connected to a supply that is eternal not bounded with time no fatigue is not bounded to the limitations of this system it's the ability of god the ability of god reproduce again and again and again and again it's not about trial and error you can gain mastery in the dispensing of his ability yes yes strong need belongs to those who are of full age who by reason of use they have gained mastery it's like fighting god's ability it's god's ability he's working in me that's why we can tell you to come for this meeting and we can guarantee that you will be blessed yes we can guarantee not on the strength of the flesh there is an ability no man's hardness can stand it no matter how stubborn you are it doesn't make any difference because when he shows up the bible says the voice of god upon the waters is mighty listen this is what happens in the teachings there are many people here who have come from other places and they cannot explain what happens to them when they listen to these teachings it's not so much about the revelation there is an ability in it that compels compliance it's called anakazo it's a greek word it's the compelling power of the spirit it is with that ability that we can prophesy over your life and your job and it will change listen it's not just saying change change receive all those things are cabbages what is the ability that sponsors it for i am a man under authority he says and on the strength of that authority i tell one go and he will go i tell one come and he will come how can cancer die god's ability how can a jobless person get a job before Monday? God's ability. How can a, a, a life, I mean, come on, think about it, people. It's the ability of the spirit. It's not by might. It's not by power. There is an ability bigger than your effort, bigger than your strength. It's God's ability. Help them, please. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. There are three rewards when you can press to manifest the ability of God. There are three rewards. Reward number one is to become a desirable personality nations will desire you because you carry that which is needed they may criticize you but they will desire you there is too much darkness in this world for the careers of the anointing to be ignored it has nothing to do with ministry that's the key to being an ambassador the nations will look for you when you carry this capital called the anointing. It will open gates. You will become Beulah. You will become Hefziba. The delight some land. You will become greatly desired when you carry this anointing. 
Listen. I have met men and women that no level of qualification in life would have given me access to them at this level. And I am amazed. I am amazed. I travel all the time. And I am humbled. People love me from regions to regions. It's not just that they love Joshua Selman. Many of them don't even know me. There is something. When you carry it, you become a joy of nations. When you carry that anointing, you become desirable. The anointing will make up for your weaknesses. It will make up big time. Listen. Listen. Years ago, there was somebody who wanted to go to NDA. And there is a height, there is a level to which if you are not as tall as that height, they will not take you. And the person who wanted to go there was lower than that height. And when he went, they dismissed him. And he went and met the Emir of Zaria. And the Emir of Zaria sent him with delegates that they should go and tell the commandant and the people that the Emir has added his height. Did you hear what I said? That the Emir has added his height and they took him. That's what the anointing does. Where you cannot enter, others are entering because they are intelligent. Others are entering because they have connection. When they come, they ask you, what do you have? And then you say, God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Listen, they may, they can't ignore you for too long. It won't be too long, somebody will be confused. You will be needed immediately. It won't be too long, somebody will be sick. Demons are still on earth, which guarantees that you remain valuable. Listen, listen, for as long as there is a demand for your anointing, you remain valuable. Business tells us, until you have something, you are unnecessary. The anointing keeps you valuable forever. Stocks can rise and fall. Oil can rise and fall. But the anointing has equal value in every territory. God's ability. Listen. When you carry Naira, when you carry Naira, as soon as you get to London with Naira, Naira is no longer valuable. Is that true? You have to change it to another currency. When you travel to Israel, you have to change the pounds or euro to shekels to be able to use it. When you travel to Asia, you now have to change it to yen and the rest to use it. But the anointing, the way it works in Nigeria, when you get to UK, there is no translation, there is no downgrading. Same sickness, same demons, same challenges. Listen, rich men fall sick. Rich men get confused. Politicians get confused. Have you seen certain businesses that are only for certain people? You only sell pampas for children. Abi, and an adult who is sick, an old man, a young man doesn't need pampas. Are you getting what I'm saying? You, you only bab somebody like me who always wants his hair low. If you want to shine it, let it shine. This is the way you do it. But somebody who keeps his hair doesn't need it. There are certain things in life that are only for a group of people. The anointing is a master capital. It is relevant anywhere, everywhere, and at all times. You need it in business. You need it in your academics. You need it in marriage. Pursue me students. You need it in your pursue me. No, 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 no. It's not just by the Y, the X. There is an ability. Let me tell you early enough. There is an ability of the spirit. Because you can write an exam well. And somebody can be marking your exam. 
and your script will fall down there is an anointing that guarantees it remains there are you hearing what i'm saying number one it brings you it makes you greatly desired number two the ability of god gives you favor with men ah. please listen to my message activating seasons of greatness favor with men and it does that in three dimensions it gives you access to people access to resources and access to opportunities these are the three things any man needs to succeed access to people access to resources access to opportunities the anointing brings access not everything is solved by money access is greater than money access 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 hallelujah it's god's ability listen we went benin we went benin recently for a meeting i say these things to encourage you after the meeting some people came in from asaba and they shared a very touching testimony and um, the pastors came in great ministry doing great things for god there when they came in they said this that they believe it to be an angel but they said somebody at a point where the ministry really needed the hand of god somebody just entered with one of our teachings and gave them and left never to see him again never knew him he was just somebody who came and dropped it and left and the pastor said when they listened to it they got all the information and as at the time they were talking to me they said they had over 200 of the messages and it has revolutionized the people there are people today who know me and love this ministry i have never seen them in fact 75 percent of those who get blessed by this ministry we have never set our eyes some of them is just one message is a mystery is a mystery if you think it's ordinary try it just go online and put anything i don't care what just put anything and invite people there is an angel there is an angel of the lord's presence that signifies the word of god and sends it like an envoy hallelujah during my during my birthday i think we had compliments from over 16 nations 16 nations of the world that have been blessed by the ministry i've not gone to most of them see that but then it's coming there are people who take these messages by themselves and keep spreading that's their ministry that is like a covenant they signed with god brothers and sisters tonight i want you to give up on your strength outside of god i'm reducing your journey towards destiny you will waste your time for nothing and find out after 70 years that this is not how it works but when the ability of God is upon you, it will make you a sign and a wonder. You will have unusual access. Access to things you will not pay for. The anointing will pay for things for you. Unusual access. Hallelujah. And finally, the third reward for the ability of the Spirit working in you is ever increasing honor honor let me tell you what honor is listen honor is not just recognition honor is the discernment of your uniqueness and the ability to reward it if you are not rewarded for your uniqueness it's not honor you can be recognized but when a man recognizes you and is willing to invest in you that is all to honor is to esteem you with respect and dignity and that you'll be rewarded for your blessings almost every day of my life there are people blessing me sowing seeds doing all kinds of things I sat down this morning and I was talking to the Lord I said Lord what are you doing to me this is more than I have bargained for. As soon as we arrived this evening, I just came in and when I came out, I was almost, sometimes you see me come and sit down and I just put my head down. I'm fighting tears many times because I remain humbled 
at the hand of God. The kind of workers that God has given in this ministry. I think they, they are even, it looks like they believe in the ministry more than me. Tomorrow is our leaders retreat and Sunday is the workers retreat. Committed people with their life like madmen. You try to coordinate people like that and you see how easy it is. Of course they are trained. Of course there are principles. But the force of cohesion is the ability of the spirit. There is an anointing. Tonight, listen. I want everybody hearing the sound of my voice inside and outside. You're going to make up your mind tonight and say, Lord, I'm tired of this inferiority and complex. It may not have been your fault to have come from the background you came from, but it can change. I love my father. He's a great man. And I see most of the things that happen in my life with him as ignorance. But there was a time my father spoke to me and said, I was going to become a failure in this life. And his prayer is that I fail alone and not bring other people. About four years ago, my father got down on his knees and asked me to pray for him. The anointing of the Spirit will make you a desire of nations. See, forget about the meager criticisms you will receive. It's nothing compared to the honor. It's one is to one million. It is totally negligible. Believe me. This is what I know. This is what my hands have handled. And I came with this word tonight. The anointing of the Spirit is an equalizer. It can cover for everything that went wrong. So you no longer have an excuse. No matter what else fails, when you are anointed, you still remain valuable. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is. Hear me. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. We are going to pray. And tonight I want us to pray because many of us are going to receive. There will be a lot of impartations in this place tonight. Especially for some of us who just came newly. Don't just come naively. Open up your heart. Let something fall on your life and change you forever. I have found my servant. Please give us Psalm 89. Verse 20. Psalm 89 verse 20. 89 verse 20 help us media it's his ability that's why my secret place listen my secret place remains my greatest asset not ministrations the man of God Apostle Johnson Suleiman said something that blessed me one time listen he said he was in the secret place praying and building and planning and something happened a big man supposedly a politician big man he came and spoke to him and said he wanted to see him and uh, he was with God one hour he didn't come out two hours he didn't come out three hours he didn't come out and the wife was already getting embarrassed that how can you leave a big man like this and they went to knock and one of his daughters went to knock and then he opened the door and she was saying daddy why attend to this man let him go and he looked at her compassionately and he said my daughter see them he said do you know why this man is here he's here because of what i am doing the, he's not here because he likes me he's here because there is an anointing he needs he needs direction he needs a prophetic word if i stop doing what i'm doing he will not come back again let him wait that's why my secret place is the greatest you don't find me gallivanting around i'm like a herbalist you don't see me strolling around and then buying orange peeling it and just moving around no because you are gathered here tonight because you love god it is true but you have come to hear a man who you consider to be anointed and the only reason why you will keep coming and listening and the only reason why nations will keep coming 
is because of this ability. The miracle services by the corner. There are sick people, HIV, cancer, all kinds of oppressed people. In this place right now, there are families that have traveled kilometers to come. And they are trusting God for a touch. And so, the greatest publicity of a believer, men of God, get this, is the secret place. That's the place you receive strength. That's the place you receive innovation. That is where you receive wisdom. He says, I have found David my servant and with my holy oil I smeared him with oil that activated an ability. Let's look at the next three verses. 21. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm shall also strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him. I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. 24. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted. He said, Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Listen. My prayer is that the least among us here will be as great as David. But you know, if you take it from the standpoint of intelligence, there are people who are a thousand times more intelligent than you. Your advantage in the kingdom is the backing of the spirit. Ay, please listen. If you keep me side by side with brilliant people, I may not have too much to say. If you keep me side by side with intellectuals, I may have something to say, but maybe not much. If you keep me around older people, they have experience. I may only have little to say. If you keep me around people, the world is full of cynical people. Even if I want to bless them, they will not believe in me. Either because I'm not their tribe or because of certain parameters. So my bailout is the anointing. I got the anointing upon my life jealously. I can lose everything but not his presence and the anointing that he brings. He says, but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horns. Listen, God can exalt the horn of a man. God spoke to us that this is the season of the rain. And the rain is already falling. I tell you, people's stories are changing. God is taking people to newer levels of wealth, newer levels of the anointing, newer levels of the spirit. Inside and outside, some of you are standing. There are no seats standing by the fence. Listen, you are face to face with destiny. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by my spirit. If you've never believed in the ability of God in you, I want you to believe it. Ephesians 3.20 And then we'll pray. Ephesians chapter 3, please, verse 20. Help us, media. Verse 20. 20. 3.20 Everyone read it together. now unto him who is the him the almighty god who is able to do say god is able to do in me whatever he desires god is able to do in me god is able to do in me years ago when i saw these meetings i i i, I would say i didn't believe them but it was difficult to explain it see let me tell you something there are times a vision can be so great there's no point trying to share it because nobody can understand but only be consistent when you begin to birth wonders then the world will know he's a mighty god and i want you to believe him he can change anyone's story god can make you the song of many like david the song upon the mouth of women and children, young and old. You ain't, you ain't 
Ocean Zion's King, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on the earth world. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on the earth world. You reign, you reign, Ocean Zion's King, Kadosh. of the deep, cry out, God, you are mighty on your throne, 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 you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty in my life. Oh, sing, thou fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty in my life. Say, you are mighty in my life. instruction. Listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. There are at least 15 people that I see. A strong anointing is going to come upon them. Please let me have them outside here. Just those 15 people who are going to pray. But the Lord is ministering to me because he's activating something. It's a substance of the spirit upon those 15 people. I'm about to pray right now. And the angels of the Lord will separate those people mightily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Lord, where are those 15 people? Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God draw them out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, inside and outside. Shkapata, Sheketeteta, Emkratos Kalabah. I send the word in the realm of the spirit. Shekebalataba, Reketetekete, Sheketekelebosh. Let there be that activation. Inside and outside, those portals. I open it in the name of Jesus. You can't stand it. No, you can't stand it. It's an ability from heaven. It's an ability from heaven. An ability from heaven. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are my 
to pass in that day that the yoke shall be taken from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Who's that to me? Who's that to me? Working in us. Working in us. expression. It can manifest as creativity. It can manifest as wisdom. Listen. It can manifest as counsel. It can manifest as understanding. I'd like you to pray and cry to God and say, Lord, every dimension that your anointing needs to convert into to solve the current dilemma in my life, if it is wisdom, may your power become unto me wisdom the power to challenge this. If it is favor, let it become unto me. Lift your voice and pray. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening in your life. Not just physical healings. A change doors are opening in the spirit I see doors opening I see doors opening I see doors doors of power doors of influence the Lord is giving men and women speed I hear speed in my spirit I hear speed You will run like Elijah Run like Elijah Run like Elijah By the power of the Holy Ghost Run like Elijah By the power of the Holy Ghost God's ability, God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. 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 That these Egyptians you came here with tonight, wave them goodbye because you will never, 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 never. Hallelujah. I'm not speaking to anybody, but I'm prophesying to someone that these Egyptians, if God be God, if God be God, if God be God, I prophesy to you tonight, we didn't come to joke, if God be God, this Egyptian, call it his name, whatever it is, this Egyptian, it will go. There is a 
burdens that you have carried for in this sanctuary tonight God is here let's just read one scripture just one scripture hallelujah Ezekiel 37 there is such a heavy presence of God in this place inside and outside let your faith rise to its limit because God will do awesome things tonight the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones Tonight is a prophetic night, oh. Tonight is a... See, the words here tonight have prophetic implications. And cause me to pass by them round about. Bones of hardship. Bones of lack. Bones of infirmity. Bones of oppression. And behold, they were very many. This is the story of many families. Very many. And they were very dry. And he said unto me, Joshua Selman, can these bones leave? Can this sick body leave? Can these dying finances leave? Can this delay and stagnation in this family leave again? Can this hopeless situation leave? Can this blood condition leave? Can SS be changed to AA? Can a man on a wheelchair walk again? The prophet was so scared. He said, only thou knowest. And he said unto me, prophesy. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. Prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, O ye dead finances. O oh, ye family challenges, O oh, ye oppression, hear ye the word of the Lord. O oh, ye challenges, hear ye the word of the Lord. He said, Thus saith the Lord, I will cause breath to enter you, and ye shall leave. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a sound. There is a sound. This is why we are making sounds in the spirit. And as I prophesied there was a sound. Bones, finances, health. I will reverence you, Lord. Don't sing, don't join me. Help me with the simba. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life. 
everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. 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 For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Tonight, every dry bone, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. For in your presence there is life. Everlasting for in your presence there are miracles for in ha, your presence there is joy joy everlasting so I will reference you Lord Tonight with the throne principalities and powers and everything that defies the name of Jesus. Tonight we set free the captives the oppressed Lord visit your people in a mighty way in a mighty way hallelujah hallelujah how many of you are ready for what God will do tonight how many of you are tired of the oppression of Satan? Don't just stand in for yourself. Stand in for your family members. Enough is enough, oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord told me there will be mighty deliverance in this place tonight. Many of you do not know the power of deliverance. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. The power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back. Let me have that lady in front. Tonight, listen, I want your faith. reach its limit because as we begin to move in the anointing of the spirit I want you to receive forget about your neighbor receive for yourself for your family members if you brought someone here I'd like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst hallelujah the lady at the back I'm seeing an angel walking I'm 
seen an angel walking across this road. The lady is wearing something like pink. Pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. That's the lady. Bring her. She'll come out by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the agency of the Spirit. Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus, foul devil of darkness. Go. I see you in the realm of the Spirit. Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands, everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus, I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil tonight you will let God's people go now lift your hands everyone at the count of three shout Jesus and the power of God will fall one two three every devil Bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon oppressing anyone outside. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside. I rebuke evil spirits. In this row, in this row, the power of God is falling mightily. Come out of God's people. I expose the works of darkness. Every demon in hell. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Every act of witchcraft and divination, many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now. Because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire aparala malala matiana na 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 this Egyptian you see today you will see them no more forever hallelujah come out 
of her now out of her in the name of jesus come out of her foul devil of darkness go go i'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit out of her right now come out of her you're a wicked spirit of darkness out i'm seeing a snake this is what i'm seeing come out right now come out of her in the name of jesus christ go this lady has been oppressed and her entire family come out right now in the name of jesus you must go the light shines upon you go go now you have oppressed this girl for long now in the name of Jesus come out of her come out right now out of her come out of her right now out in the name of Jesus look at me turn and look at me come out of her now come out of her out in the name of Jesus Christ you are a wicked spirit of darkness go go you will go in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a snake lying down here I'm not even seeing a human being in the name of Jesus Christ let this girl go right now come out of her now out of her now devil of darkness lift your hands God is going to visit families hear me please hear me and some of you will represent your families are you hearing me right now the devil is a liar tonight are you hearing me the devil is a liar tonight the power of God will come upon families families right now whoever goes under the anointing you're not representing yourself but your family there are things that need to be settled at the count of three all over this building families be rescued one two three papa pateka karata sete kerekoba baba tata lata bakeria toto kete bring them out every family every family every enchantment every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus Kata Tabalada Pata Barata Karatosa Rabariata Beketori Seke Mabrikato Ereka Likaba Rabariata Rekoto Seke Tekete Bekeposhia by the fire the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost Apatakata Leka Praskataraka Rakata Prakataba Aprosko Soso Prekete It shall come to pass The burden shall be taken from thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed Go to Reke the power of God is still falling on families I tell you there are families being set free this is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families tonight there's no escape the light and fiery presence Matakabaya. those of you outside lift your hands all of you outside lift your hands in the name of the lord jesus like a mighty rushing wind let the power of god move outside move outside move outside 
move outside families be delivered families be set free move outside Tata tata ta rakata baba raposoto regeteke raposko se regoske yata mapata porokote la ekereketo raposke blondo kapriata kata shekete outside the fire of god is falling Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you're a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delaying different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. Have you not wondered, look up, there are certain issues that you go through in your life. You pray about it, you fast about it, the more you pray, the more you fast, nothing is changing. Why is it so? 
Hold on, hold on. No, let that lady not go. Look at my eyes. Please dress her. Let's have a lady wrap something around her. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See. Listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If we don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and feel the Holy Ghost. See, we like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits and then we just, and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. Come out of her right now and her family. Out in the name of Jesus. You will see a nice pretty lady like this. Then eventually things will not move on in her life. Bring this lady. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm speaking to the spirit, not the person. Don't worry, the spirit is hearing. Look at my eyes. Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her be. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweetheart. Your family needs a lot of... Ah, what is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying. This is what I'm seeing. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan. Come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now, come out. Let our entire family go. The problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Kapota kalapa Ranta prosko zete balakatea Victoria, victory, victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come.
look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? Bring this lady. Put your hands on your stomach. Look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Alright? Are you ready? One to go. Jesus. You're free in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Listen. I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies come. Come. Tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister, it's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Come out of our family. Right now. Uh -uh. Hey. Bring this lady. Look at, look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress these ones aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart, please come out quickly. Hold on. There's, the Lord is showing me someone. You have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? It started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. Stand for God to set you free. What's the problem? Give him. What's the problem? There is a day that I was sleeping. In the dream. I saw somebody. The person don't shout. Hey, they are not shout. They are not wake. Since then, my heart. It says, it says to me that the heart wants to. I, use all that. I want to give up. Anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not hard. You think it's hard problem. Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you quickly. As I pray for you, just receive... Go back, check yourself. 
the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out. You're wicked. Come out. Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil. Aha, I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Aha. You will leave her. Come out. Out of her right now. Out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. of you who brought sick people please we'll, we'll start ministering shortly but i want to pray for people who please stand up everybody stand up stand up hallelujah the lord is specifically asking me to pray i'm going to pray you won't come out god will bring you out by himself um the lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the Lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Mm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Now! 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 I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams molestation in your dreams 
Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is... Go! Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out of her. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosati will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body. You came with a sick person. Especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sand. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in line, please. Some of you are outside, rolling here, it's time for your healing. Hallelujah. Edge me. 
Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit, for some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you, expect a miracle. Whatever it is, barrenness, delay, sickness, what if it has a name, it has a need tonight. Hallelujah. Worship team, help us. Please, those of you at the side, please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you. Check yourself. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be here.
go in the name of Jesus. Now, your time is up. In the name of Jesus, go. You are a wicked spirit. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Out. With a loud shout, you are going out. Go. Go. Now go. 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 On your mouth said, go. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. The demonstration of the authority of light over darkness. Make sure you are praying. Whatever the sickness is, it will go. Come out! Come out! Come out! Out of my name of Jesus! Jesus, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, your time is up in this body, go, as we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing, it doesn't matter what is wrong. Go, go right now. On your mark, set, go, 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 go. You must go. We cast out right now. right now go go go
telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. I'm seeing families, the curse of delay, marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families. of darkness go in Jesus Jesus because you're to follow me we sing to your name O God Baba, 
Hallelujah. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked. Someone has a problem with the left side of your ears. The left side of your ears. Who is that person? The left side of your ears. It's as if there's water. The left side of your ears. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. The palmer worm. Please be sensitive. Everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic. And I will restore to you. There are two families here that need major restoration. The Holy Spirit is going to bring them out. They will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. Wherever you are, I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone. They will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. It's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out, come out, come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out, take a tele Everyone that belongs to this category, the sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let her family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now days from now there are still some people at the back 
the Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my Lord major major restoration Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 8811252. 8811252. You or someone in your house has that number. This is part of the 11 numbers. 8811252. Come out. 8811252. And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774 is a number 774 774 is a number is a number these families must be free oh lord you are the lady you are the lady 774 is a number do you know me do you know me come out of her right now out of her Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. laughter is a sign of victory i tell you it's a prophetic sign they can't control it i'm seeing it i'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families thank you jesus now listen some of you may sit there you are wondering what is going on in this place right now this is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way.
all of you in this row from this brother to that lady please hold your hands i don't know what it is as this yes just you lift it up please an angel of the lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there lord let your power move right now across that place in the name of the lord jesus christ media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together i want to pray for you at the count of three i'm seeing a whirlwind one two three There is a lady you had a dream yesterday you saw me ministering to you there are not many times these kinds of revelations happen who is that lady you're a lady you saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had please come out there is a lady please let's save time we still have some other things to do Baba sister you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit i want to open a gate right now Efata, be open An impartation is coming upon you you will never be the same David the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way and even you the Lord is bringing order to your life there's a lot of chaos your life is scattered very scattered let your life come back to order hallelujah ushers collect the prayer requests please pass your prayer requests quickly gabriel 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 there's a mighty move of the spirit in this place god is just visiting people make sure you don't those outside don't think you are not part of this ushers ushers look at me look at me liver come out come by yourself come and stand here come and stand here this lady is strongly influenced by spirits come and stand here just stand and wait for me here right here stand and wait for me here. Gabriel my brother the Lord is bringing you to honor 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 mark this word go and write it huh? in exactly eight days from now something major is going to happen in your life Go and write it on.
following this lady. Please, ushers, collect the prayer request quickly. Because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the Spirit. This lady loves God but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please, ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Yes. Do I know you? Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I'll soon tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. Was and this poisoned. is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you, I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's cup. this request we are not opening it but I'm seeing here marriage for your sister the Lord says it won't pass this year this request I don't know who has it marriage for your sister I'm seeing a lady hold on Kai what is this before we pray someone in your family her stomach started protruding 
People even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In, no, 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 no. This, you, you are not, I'm seeing the lady, like um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. Is coming out there even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. Hurry up, my sister. Let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family. You believe in Jesus? very well look at me look at me very well and you believe you help your family because my dear there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first hmm? a lot of salvation you too you were scared why this is a family please when you when you hear a word don't be scared Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Okay. That has... Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of jesus none of the requests here your hand will not bypass them in the name of jesus thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of jesus thank you jesus in jesus name we pray celebrate jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change forever.
Believe me. Mosax, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 So you become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. completed project in this place I command let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year completion of houses projects in the name of Jesus every delay in relationship or marriage I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus Every plague of barrenness 
inside and outside everything called barrenness in your life i curse it right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i command a restoration whatever you have lost in the name of jesus a sevenfold restoration receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah look at me i want to break the curse of poverty over families i always do this everybody look at me i want you to bring out a seed you know that we don't if you don't believe it just keep your seed please bring out a seed bring out something that will touch you just lift it up many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight inside and outside please share with somebody who doesn't have this is not about money this is about spiritual principles please bring out a seed lift it high above your head I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of god every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the sea to heaven my god like the sacrifice of abel visit it now in the name of jesus Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it just give me 10 seconds god is going to visit people right now all across financially 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine do it my god let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up.
I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. He was taken away from the bank because of a case. Next month, before now I'm 14th, you'll be reinstated again. Hallelujah. Now look at me. If you're here, listen, everybody keep standing. And you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to make a genuine commitment. The Bible says, as many as will come, he will in no wise cast away. We're going to give you an opportunity now inside and outside. You probably were invited by someone or you've been here and you've seen what the Lord has done. You've seen the wonders of God. And the Lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start. As I count one to five, please inside and outside as a family of faith, I'd like us to celebrate such people. Leave your seat and run out right now. Everyone, one. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. 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 Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You'll follow them in one minute. And then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow 
there will be a follow up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You meet with Pastor Jakes and he'll follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight? You will never be the same. I assure you, you will never, never be the same. You will know that you met the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.